for this special episode of My Dear Mandarin. We are going to be looking at the traditions for a Chinese New Year. But before we start, please be sure to leave a like, share, and subscribe for more weekly Mandarin content. As you can see from our flashcards, there are a lot of events and also traditions to follow during the Chinese New Year celebration. In this video, we are going to go through all of the important dates during the Chinese New Year, and also teach you what you should do if you have a chance to visit Taiwan during the Chinese New Year holiday. The first event is shopping, which in Mandarin is 年前购物 Most people buy ingredients for their preparation of the Chinese New Year's Eve dinner, and also snacks to eat during the whole Chinese New Year celebration. Next is one of the most important dates during the Chinese New Year celebration, which is Chinese New Year's Eve. And in Mandarin, we say 除夕 The first thing we do on Chinese New Year's Eve is usually to pray or pay tribute to our ancestors and gods. This is not only for religious reasons. But to be thankful for their blessing during the last year, and also hoping they will continue to bless us during the following years. After we pray and pay tribute to our ancestors and the gods, we are going to hang up some spring couplets, and in Mandarin that is called 贴春联 So first, we usually take down the. Bring couplets from the prior year, and then paste the new ones for this year. Now let's see how this is done. After we finish hanging up our spring couplets, then comes the most important event during a Chinese New Year, which is the Chinese New Year's Eve dinner. In Mandarin, we call that 年夜。Fun. It's a time when family members from all over the place gather together and sit down to have a dinner together. Usually, after the dinner, parents will give out red envelopes, which is called hong bao, and it contains money in them, in the meaning of wishing luck to their loved ones and also especially children. The day after the Chinese New Year Eve is called. 大年初一 which means the first day of the new Chinese year. And on this day, we usually go to temples to pray to more gods. This is called 拜天公 And let's look at some events we do at the temple.
people who are married usually go back to their wife's family and visit their relatives during the second day of the Chinese New Year, and this has a special name called Hui Niang Jia. It used to be a very serious matter in the past, but in recent years, people just go back and do more social networking and also play some board games. Now we are going to jump right to the sixth day of a、uh, Chinese New Year. This day is very special because traditionally people started working on this day, and this is called Kai Gong. People usually let out firecrackers in order to signal that a new year has now officially started work-wise. This is a quick trivia for you. Although the Chinese New Year holiday is only until the fifth day of the Chinese New Year, but actually the Chinese New Year officially ends on the Lantern Festival, which is the fifteenth day of the Chinese New Year. This is going to wrap up our video for today. If you really like our content, please be sure to leave a like, share, and subscribe for more weekly Mandarin content like this. And I will see you in the last video. 新年快乐！